your broadcasts from all over the world. <laughs> this is a bright day, a great day of power and glory. Darkness can never, will never, shall never, won't have the capacity to comprehend the light of the glory of God in us. Christ in us, the hope of glory, the invincible image of Godhead. In him dwelleth the fullness of Godhead, and in him we are perfectly fitted and complete. And so therefore we are full of praise and full of thanksgiving this day. This is the season, the day, the moment the Lord has created, made, established for us. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad and we have the bona fide right to be elated, to be excited. For this is the day of glory and the day of power indeed. As a man thinketh, so he is. So we think because God is power. God is glory. God is peace. God is prosperity. God is wealth. God is all supply. Elohim Adonai El Shaddai. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. So we are on the praise series, and we all understand and know that the praise series has, I mean, um, the faith series has been absolutely fantastic, absolutely revolutionary, earth-shaking, life-giving, and absolutely encouraging and motivating, and absolutely establishing and re-energizing. Praise God. Faith you can never separate faith from praise. <laughs> so praise is an expression of faith. For who so praise the Lord, glorify the Lord. Praise is an expression of faith. So faith is full of praise. Faith is full of thanksgiving. So we're going to connect this. How? Is praise connected to faith? Let's read on from the book of Psalms 150. My brothers and sisters are watching from different parts of the world. Let's read from the book of Psalms 150. Praise the Lord in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the heavens of His power. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Him with a trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. <laughs> Praise Him with tambourine and single or group dance. Praise Him with stringed and wind instruments or flutes. Praise Him with His sounding cymbals. Praise Him with the loud clashing cymbals. Let Everything that has breath and every breath of life, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. And everything uh, and every breath of life, praise the Lord. God created Adam and Eve in his likeness and image in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. In his image and likeness he created them. Then God breathed unto Adam the breath of lives. Praise God. He breathed unto Adam the breath of lives. Neshama Kaim. Neshama Kaim. The breath of lives. The breath of lives is that essence of the life of God in us. That which establishes us in the image and the likeness of God. Neshama Kaim, the breath of lives. Breath, Neshama, breath, Neshama Kaim of life, the breath of lives, the breath of lives in us. So that is that which establishes the faith of God in us. We don't just operate in faith just by reason of operating by that, but it is the very life of God. It's the expression of the life of God in us. For in Christ we live and move and have our being. It is the expression of God's presence in our lives. 
the expression of the power, the ability, the image, the imprint, and the DNA of God in us. The breath of life, Neshama Kaim. God breathed unto the nostrils of Adam the breath of lives in plural. And man not only became another living soul, but he became another speaking spirit after the nature and the kind of God. After the nature and the kind of God, he took after the supernatural ability of God, the divine nature of God. And therefore, we are clothed. And therefore, we are imprinted. And therefore, we carry the DNA of the nature of God, the supernatural nature of God, the divine nature of God, the expression of the nature of God. So therefore, the breath of life in us, the breath of God in us, calls for the praise of God. The expression that we are not belonging to ourselves. We don't belong to ourselves, but we belong to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Jehovah Elohim who created the heavens and the earth. Jehovah El Shaddai, the God of the God Almighty. Jehovah Makadesh. Jehovah Sisikenu, the Lord of righteousness. The Lord our righteousness, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, our peace, Jehovah Shama, the Lord who is present and who is there. Praise the Lord. Jehovah Rohi, the Lord, our shepherd, the Lord who guides us, leads us and preserves us, who leads us to triumphant procession always, who causes us to triumph always in Christ Jesus, who always gives us victory, who gives us success, who makes miracles <coughs> and signs and wonders part and parcel of our life. Therefore, who so glorify the Lord, praises the Lord, or who so praises the Lord, glorifies and magnifies the Lord. The breath of God in us carries the imprint of the nature, the DNA of God. Praise the Lord. And so we are God kind, God expressing himself in us, the nature of God, the intelligence, the knowledge, the power, the capacity, the ability of God expressing in these earthen vessels that the excellency of power may not be of us, but may be of God. Praise the Lord. So faith is powerful. A faith is real. Faith is glorious. Glory be to God in the highest place. Glory be to God in the highest place. Therefore, faith is expression of the life of God. Therefore, faith is expression of the power of God. Therefore, faith is expression of the glory of God. Therefore, faith is expression of the creativity of God. Therefore, faith is expression of the ability of God. Faith is expression of everything that God is. Nothing was to become without God exercising faith. And this ability he has imprinted and invested and express in us the ability to exercise faith, to call the things that be not as though they were, to create things from the spiritual realms and make them to come to manifestation in the natural realms. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, I feel the fire of God in this place. My brothers and sisters, the faith of God embedded in us, imprinted in us, invested in us is the faith that God wants us to exercise. For all the orchestrations of God to become a manifest reality in our lives. Glory be to God. So the psalmist here is expressing how faith expresses praise. How praise is a manifestation of faith. Praise is a manifestation of faith, an expression of faith, the evidence of faith in us. Praise God. Faith is expressive. Faith is not passive or stagnant, but faith has life in it. 
and expresses itself in form of praise. So when we praise the Lord, we magnify Him for His greatness. We magnify Him for His greatness. We magnify Him for His faithfulness. We magnify Him for His glory. We magnify Him for His doxa. We magnify Him for His faithfulness. We magnify Him for His creativity. We magnify Him for His divine ability, for His divine capacity, for His divine nature. We magnify Him because He is God. Besides Him there is none, and therefore it behooves us to praise Him, which is the manifest expression of faith in us. Faith expresses itself by praise. And when we praise God, we magnify the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Which sanctuary is it? We are the sanctuary of the Lord. We are the temple of the living God. We are the express temple of God. The tabernacle of God dwelleth within men today. We are the eternal kingdom of God. We are the city that Abraham looked, that whose builder and maker is God. The abode of God, the abiding place of God, the staying place of God, the tabernacle of God dwells within men today. My brothers and sisters, God within us, the express image of Godhead, the fullness of Godhead dwelling inside of us. Christ, the Redeemer, through the person of the Holy Spirit. <sighs> Hallelujah. So praise is an, expect, an expression of the manifestation of faith. The evidence that faith resides in us. Faith is resident in us. Faith abides in us. The creative force, the divine ability of God, the nature of God, the character of God. Hallelujah. So that when we exercise faith, we express the absolute trust that God is and that he's a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. How does he reward? By manifesting his word when we exercise faith, by making his word a manifested reality in the natural realm, when we exercise faith, there are supernatural ability of God becoming a manifest reality in our lives. Faith is an expression, praise God, of uh, of the nature of God. And so therefore it expresses itself by praising God. Praising, magnifying, extolling, glorifying the Lord. Why? We are created in the likeness and the image of God. Why? We are redeemed by the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Why? The image of God cries out after the image and the likeness of the nature of God himself. It is the nature of God within us crying out after God. Praise God. Because deep calleth unto deep. God's nature calleth after God himself. Glory be to God in the, light, in the highest place. So praise is an indicative or an indication that the, the faith of God indwells in us and expresses itself in faith. As he says here, everything that has breath, praise him. Every creation of God. If the very creation of God can praise the Lord, the trees, even the rocks break out into praise. The planets, the sun, the moon, the stars, the sea creatures, the, the fowls of the air. If they so praise the Lord, how much more ought we with the imprint of faith? How much more ought we create the likeness of the image of God? manifest the express image of God by praise. Praise is the expression of the indwelling of faith in us. The nature of God in us reaching out, calling out 
after God. We are created in the nature and the likeness of God. So therefore we can't fail. We take after the nature of our Father. Therefore we can't falter because we take after the nature of God. Even though the rising uh, waves, contrary winds against our lives may be rising evidently. The boisterous winds, the rough winds of life, the wintry colds of the night, the insolations of the day, the topsy-turvy of things happening in our lives. Faith will express itself in praise. And as we praise the Lord, God is glorified and He manifests His glory. Praise the Lord when we praise Him. So my brothers and sisters, praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, in His tabernacle. Praise the Lord expressing uh, His praise here. Praise Him in the heavens of His power. Glory be to God. And God, the entirety of God dwelling in us, praise God. Praise Him for His mighty acts, the miracles, the signs, and the wonders of God, the expressions of God through the manifestations of His great works. Praise God. Ah, we are the handiwork of God. Praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. For He is great, and His mercy endureth forever. Praise Him with the trumpet sound. Praise him with a lute and harp. Praise him with a tambourine and single, whether single or in a group. Whether we are one individual praising the Lord, or we're in a tumult, or a crowd, or an assembly, solemn assembly of the righteous. It doesn't matter whether we are individual. Let us praise and glorify him, for it's an expression of faith within us. Faith expresses itself by praising the Lord. Glory be to God. When Paul and Silas were locked up in prison, incarceration, when they were persecuted and they began to praise God, they were expressing faith. They were expressing faith. I believe as they praised the Lord, the Lord sent forth his angels and they were delivered. The chains were broken. The gates were open and they were delivered from the incarceration. As they praised the Lord, they magnified the glory of God. And God, God acted upon the expression of their Faith by praising him. Angels who are swung into place. So we provoke the ministry of angels when we express faith by praise. Glory be to God. I believe the same was manifest in the life of Daniel of old when he was thrown to the dungeon of the lions. And he magnified and praised the Lord and he rested in the Lord for he mixed the promise of God with faith and expressed himself in praise. And God preserved him. And they went around the walls of Jericho six times, six days. The seventh time, they went seven times. The seventh time, they blew the trumpet for his mercy endured forever. They began to praise the Lord and began to magnify the Lord and expressing their faith that God had promised them the walls of Jericho will come down. And they began to express their faith by praising the Lord and blowing the trumpets. And the walls of Jericho came down. It doesn't matter how formidable the walls of Jericho may be in our individual lives. They may be tall, they may be wide, they may be so uh, formidable. But praise, the expression of faith will bring every wall of Jericho down and victory shall be our portion. And victory is our portion for by so expressing ourselves in praise we enforce the victory of the cross given to us by Christ defeating all the purposes and the deeds of darkness and the grave could not hold him and the power of death could not hold him and he destroyed the sting of death and he rose up on the third day and the grave could not hold him and he gave us victory and he ascended to the Father, presented the blood and his mission accomplished and he gave us the victory and he made a public spectacle of all principalities and the dominions of darkness and all the powers of darkness and he has given us victory over the powers of darkness over everything that God created he has given us authority and power over everything as we express ourselves in praise we enforce our victory of the cross in our individual lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ victorious successful Hallelujah. Conquer us. Triumphant. We are blessed. 
God bless you. Or I want to. I don't want to take long, but I'll continue the same vein again. God bless you. Kingdom aristocracy always a joy to bring to us in a saleable, the honor that directed the life giving, the power ushering, the glory ushering and the miracle ushering and the favor ushering and bondage removing and curse breaking death destroying word of the living God. Faith is a spiritual response to the supernatural nature of God, producing irrefutable irrescible results in our lives god bless you the unflinching the unfledgling the unfailing the unfaltering the life-giving faith of god god bless you father bless your people whatever they're listening from and watching from right now let your power descend upon them and bring down the walls of jericho get them out of incarcerations and prison cells and lord release them in the name of jesus to a place of joy and peace and prosperity father a place of testimonies and triumph let your name be glorified your kingdom be established in the lives of your people for you have established them as a sign and a wonder to the world. They are blessed, they are favored, they are triumphant, they are successful. They can't fall or falter or fail. They are success because Christ has overcome for them the hope of glory in Jesus' name. God bless you. Love you all. Come. I'll be back again in the next broadcast in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.